This is the Marvel Infinite series, Daredevil. Um, I don't even know which wave this is from. I think it's from wave three or wave wave six. I think overall. Um, these are not his wave mates. His wave mates are only this guy in this wave, and he's with Thunderstrike, Shauna, Vulture, Doc Ock. Okay, so here is the figure. He, this is the armored daredevil. Not really the best one in the wave, I think. Uh, but he's pretty cool. If you're a big daredevil fan, this is one figure you might want to consider picking up. And so here he is. Let me just try and stand him up. It's not the best daredevil figure that has come from the Marvel Universe or Marvel Infinite series. Here is, is from a previous mold. I think one of the very first uh, earliest male body sculpts of the Marvel Universe. Put that aside. And here is perhaps the best looking Daredevil out there, which has the uh, Jim Lee Cyclops X-Men, uh, Jim Lee, uh, yeah, the Jim Lee Cyclops mold. And that's probably the best one, best Daredevil you're gonna get. Uh, out of the entire, in this particular wave, him, this figure, and Shauna are the ones that are normally gone from the pegs. Collectors are after this guy primarily, I think, because he's got a hit show. The Dare, there's a Daredevil hit show on Netflix, and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of Daredevil fans out there, new fans, including myself. Um, I've been hooked on that show. It's amazing, brilliant, brilliant show on Netflix. But if you ask me, um, out of all the Daredevil figures, this one is the best. And then, um, and it's a toss-up between the, this one or this one. This one is a good size. He's a little bit too small. But in terms of articulation, this guy is probably better. So we'll put them off to the side, uh, to the back, just for fun. Here he is with Elektra. Remarkable, remarkable figure. And as you can see, great paint apps all around. He's got some red and silver. The only issues I see with this guy in terms of paint apps are his red beady eyes. Um, I mean, let me see if I can get that. Because the area is just so small, there's a lot of red paint going onto the black mask. And sometimes there's too little red paint. So that's the first thing you want to look at. And then you want to look at the flesh bleeding into the black or the black bleeding into the flesh. Other than that, Everything seems to be okay. Even the silver painted okay. Uh, there will be some imperfections just like that. It should be just up to that armor bit, but it goes up to up to the black. Yeah, that's very minor. But other than that, um, very, very good. They used a nice glossy black plastic. Uh, not too glossy on the, on the legs, uh, but very, very nice. Articulation for the figure. He's got a ball jointed neck. Ball, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, no wrist, no waist articulation or wrists, uh, ball jointed hips, thigh swivel, no, no thigh swivel, sorry, um, ratcheting ball, uh, double jointed knees, ball hinge ankles with the rocker tilt, rocker joint. So, yeah, um, it's okay. I don't think you should go, you know, spending weeks hunting this guy. Uh, I'm sure you'll find him on the pegs. He's not short packed. Uh, by far, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 at best. Maybe a 7.5, I think. 8, I think. He looks good on the shelf, but playability is not that great. Uh, so he's not going to get a perfect score from me. And I'm sure a lot of collectors are really nice. I really like this figure, but yeah, there's a lot of... I wish they could have given him that waist cut. That would have made a whole lot of difference with this figure. Last thing I'm going to mention is accessories. He's got a billy club that's painted in silver. Doesn't do anything. And there's another one that's attached on his forearm. Like that. So, pretty neat. There you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this little video review. This is the Marvel Infinite Series, the Armored Daredevil. Thanks for watching.